Hello and uh, welcome to the Service Fusion QuickBooks Desktop informational video. Service Fusion is integrated with both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online, but in this video we'll cover just a desktop edition. Service Fusion allows you to synchronize invoices, payments, customer notes, as well as customers and items bidirectionally. So what we'll do is we'll configure it in Service Fusion and I'm going to run through a simple job to invoice to payment scenario so that I can demonstrate how seamless the integration actually is. In your QuickBooks desktop settings on the Service Fusion site, you can configure things such as job creation. For example, anytime you create a job in Service Fusion, you can actually create it as a job underneath that customer in QuickBooks so that if you track costs, if you log expenses, if you log times against those jobs, you can actually do it seamlessly through Service Fusion and then the QuickBooks integration. For example, we have a customer named ABC Corporation, which then has a job underneath it. ABC Corporation also has a number of sub-customers or jobs in QuickBooks, for example, ABC Store number one, there's two, there's three, and they each have jobs underneath them. So that again, if there are certain expenses or times that are billed against those particular jobs underneath that sub-customer account, you can easily track them in both Service Fusion and QuickBooks. That's one of the huge benefits of our integration. Okay, The next setting here is uh, classes tracking. If you track classes in QuickBooks, you can mimic that same setup in Service Fusion. And you can track your classes on an entire transaction level or each row of a transaction. Again, the setup is identical to QuickBooks. Your class names can be defined here, and if you already have them in QuickBooks, you can just set them up exactly the same. If there's a new class that you add in Service Fusion, it will automatically be created in QuickBooks the next time you use it on an invoice. Okay. You can also personalize what goes into the invoice itself, so the top of the invoice is going to be populated with certain data from Service Fusion jobs. And you can check or uncheck these boxes, and you can always go back and change them if you need it. If you track times or if you do your payroll based on employee time logs in QuickBooks, you can track times in Service Fusion, and then that data can be ported over into QuickBooks if you choose to do it. So now let's go ahead and run through a simple scenario of a job which will become an invoice, which will then uh, have a payment received against it, and how it will all synchronize into QuickBooks. I already pre-populated some of the job details here, so I'm going to go ahead and save it, and then we're going to switch over to a tab uh, that will uh, essentially emulate our mobile app environment. So we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to my work. Abby Smith is the job that I just created, and I'm going to skip a few steps here, such as status updates, on the way notifications. I'm just going to go straight to the invoice, and we're going to go ahead and add a couple of items here. So we'll go to products, HVAC products. We're going to choose this system here, add it to the job, and then we'll go ahead and add a service item. We'll go to HVAC services, choose the service call, add it. Both items are taxed, so if you scroll down to the invoice details, you can see there's a line item for 1200 there's one for 79 and we have a tax of 105.52 so the total comes down to 1384.52 okay we can go ahead and mark this job as completed invoice it and then receive a payment against it which is what we'll do here okay so now that the job is completed we can go ahead and say finalize invoice as the invoice is being created in Service Fusion, it is now going to be available for the plugin to automatically import it into QuickBooks if you have it set to auto sync. So let me show you the setting here. You can enable auto synchronization every 10 minutes, 15, 30, an hour. You can go down to five if you'd like. So depending on how much data you process daily, you can choose to uh, synchronize it at a certain time interval, or you can just choose to do it once a day or if the volume is not that great, you can go ahead and do it uh, um, on demand, basically, and synchronize it manually, which, was, uh, which is what we'll do in this case. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and apply a payment against it, and we'll just keep it simple. Say, uh, check, add a reference number, add a memo, go ahead and submit this payment. So now the payment is being received. If we go back to this job, simply refresh the screen, the status is going to show is invoice, invoice number 1259 created today. And uh, we can now see that the invoice is paid in full because the payment that we just received against it is right here. So now let's go ahead and look at Abby Smith's profile in QuickBooks. So I'm going to go down to QuickBooks. We're going to find Abby Smith on our list. There's Abby Smith. She currently has two invoices and one payment. Okay. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and fire up our plugin. We'll go ahead and sync now. 
And at this point, it's actually going to synchronize your customer list, your item list, anything that's changed, anything that's new in Service Fusion is going to be automatically brought into QuickBooks. You'll see a list of invoices for you to import. We can go ahead and hit sync. If there are no issues, you're going to see a success message here. If there are any issues, it'll show in the information box here. So now if we go back and look at the um, profile again, we see invoice 1259 that was just imported. We see all the line items. We see the job information up at the top. Again, as a reminder, you can personalize this data up here to only display the data that you want. Okay, let's go back to the plugin. And we're going to go ahead and proceed to the payment uh, screen. Now we have a number of payments here that we can import. We'll just uh, import the one that we just received. This is the payment. We'll go ahead and hit sync. And at this point, a payment is actually being created in Service Fusion and applied against that invoice. As you can see, there is the invoice. If we double click on it, there's an associated payment. And if we go back here, double click on the payment screen, we see that the payment was received and applied against this invoice. Our check number, our memo is all brought over here. And that's how simple it is to synchronize data between QuickBooks and um, Service Fusion. If at any point you wanted to import or export data or exchange data between the two platforms, you can go into the configuration section here. You can configure it to the chart of accounts and certain preferences that you'd like. And then you can import customers into QuickBooks from Service Fusion, import items from Service Fusion to QuickBooks, or do it the other way around. Upload customers from QuickBooks to Service Fusion, upload items, and you can even upload notes from customers' profiles. So for example, if you load this data, the notes are gonna be coming from the customer's profile. So if we look at ABC uh, Enterprises, for example, we'll go to the Notes tab. These are the notes that came up on the list here. And if you synchronize these notes in Service Fusion, they will actually appear on the customer's profile. So if we go back here, go to Customer List, and pull up our ABC Enterprises account, the notes that were in QuickBooks were imported into your Service Fusion account. So you can easily exchange this data back and forth. You can add separate notes directly on the customer's profile in Service Fusion, which will later be migrated to QuickBooks. But again, this is how easy it is to um, uh, communicate between QuickBooks and uh, Service Fusion, and uh, we hope you enjoy the integration.